Sorry, I was wrong. At the beginning of October 2021, I released a video on the new Microsoft Whiteboard. I was so excited about all the new features that I jumped into it, tried it all and immediately made a video. I was very positive, but then I started using it for real. Little by little, I was noticing some strange things. And then somebody starts commenting on the video and disagreeing with my review. So I'm here today to say you are right. The new Microsoft Whiteboard. Well, I'm still positive on the new features that I presented in my previous video, but I don't know why Microsoft took the good things of the existing Whiteboard and trashed them. I'm talking about the absence of copy-paste, the possibility to undo, the possibility to clear the board, the fact that you can now add PDFs or PowerPoint, but no Word documents anymore. So let's see in detail why, as of today, November 10th, 2021, these and other issues make the new Microsoft Whiteboard almost unusable. So I'm opening the whiteboard that I have created for my previous video. I'll open it in the new Microsoft Whiteboard environment, but I will also use the previous version of the app. So the first thing that you see is that the two apps have some incompatibilities. The new features that were introduced with the new whiteboard do not display correctly in the former version of the app. But that's understandable. In the old app, when clicking on an object like a sticky note, there was the possibility to copy it and paste it. You could also use Ctrl C and Ctrl V on PC. That's very useful because it allowed me to take the format of the object and duplicate it. Now in the new whiteboard, this is not possible. You cannot copy and paste. And I'm just asking myself, why? Another thing is that in the former version of the app, you could give a thumb up. Now this has been substituted by reactions. So on one hand, you have more possibilities to express your thoughts with different types of reactions, but the automatic count of thumbs up is not available anymore. Let's see now if we can insert documents. In the former version, we could insert PowerPoint, PDF or Word documents. At the beginning, in the new app, you could not insert documents at all. Luckily now, they've added the possibility of inserting PowerPoint and PDFs, but no Word documents. Oh, now that I've inserted some documents, I just want to make sure that these are kept in place and I don't move them accidentally. While in the old whiteboard, this was possible, but oops, not in the new one. If you're enjoying this video and you want to forgive me for my other one, please like it so more people will learn about it. Now, if we want to add an image, previously we could browse our drive, but we also had the integration of Bing to add images directly from the web. Also, we could take a snapshot with our webcam. These two options are now gone. On the inking side, the ruler has been replaced by a keyboard shortcut to draw straight lines. That's not bad or good, it's just a matter of preference. What annoys me the most, together with the absence of the copy-paste option, is the fact that there is no undo. So click on Ctrl Z, nothing happens. So every time you have to go to the eraser and then erase the object that you've just inserted. Again, I ask myself, why? They also changed a little bit the inking features. But the most relevant thing here is that you cannot ink to table anymore. So you cannot draw a square, cut it in half and create a two cell table. And let's say you're drawing something quickly on the board, but then you want to erase it and start it from scratch before you could clear all content. Now this option is not there. I found a keyboard shortcut though that has the same effect. However, since I've inserted this object in the former version of the app, for some reason, this has not been deleted now. And oops, I deleted everything and there is no undo. So I've lost everything. I'm sure Microsoft will solve all these issues, but today this is what it is. So if you want to check out better whiteboards, watch this video.